This is the first project which is being deployed in Wales. Other companies are, are developing solutions, but this is the first one that's actually going into the water. And I think it's testimony to the support that we've had, for example, from the Welsh Government in their strategy to exploit the marine renewable resources around the coastline of Wales. But getting people with belief that this can actually happen is so, so difficult. And my goodness, haven't I had some false starts and absolute joy that we have Eco2 and with the far-sightedness to, to pick this thing up and, and run with it. Today is very significant. It actually makes us a member of a very small club and that small club are device manufacturers that have made devices that can go into the water. And I'm really looking forward to being a very credible force in marine energy. What we have here is effectively a wind turbine that works underwater. We drop it to the seabed and the device then generates electricity with the flow of the tide. And the tide is entirely predictable for the next million years. We know that investing in future energy technologies is vital to build a low carbon economy and to help drive forward Wales' ambitions to become a more sustainable nation. Promoting the generation of clean electricity while protecting our natural environment is of paramount importance to us as a government. We have enormous potential. We have, of course, along our southern coast, uh, the second greatest tidal range in the world. Now that uh, is a great potential resource that could be tapped into. We have to be uh, careful of course that we don't upset the natural balance in our marine environment but I think that can be uh, overcome. What we want to see is a level playing field for Wales compared to England, Scotland and Northern Ireland where we can put the same amount of money on the table as they can. The next steps for this device is to finish commissioning it. Uh, we're going to do what we call a dunk test. We're going to do a wet trial where we'll lower it into the water here to ensure that the device floods and empties at the right rate. Once we're happy with that uh, then the device will go around to Ramsey Sound. Absolutely hand on heart certain that we can produce commercial power from these things. Let's face it, the, the current flow just in Pembrokeshire runs out for 25 miles out into the sea and is about 25 miles long. You can put thousands of megawatts of power from the sea and harness it. This first prototype demonstration trial is expected to last about a year. What we really hope to do is build a second device or modify this current device to put more capacity onto the seabed in uh, Ramsey Sound and to use it as a, as a test bed for uh, improving the technology um, and of course continuing to monitor the environment around it.